Hi everybody, Bruce Lurch back here once again for the Boston Herald with a big Saturday matchup in the Independent School League where unbeaten St. Sebastian's paid a visit to once-beaten Lawrence Academy. The Arrows' number one goal on this day was to do anything they could to stop the Spartan star running back, A.J. Dillon. And that's a task that looks a lot easier on paper as the Lawrence Academy workhorse got himself going early and often. And after a good run here by quarterback Jake Cassidy to get it down inside the five-yard line, Dillon takes a pitch to his left, and plows through a pair of defenders at the goal line for the touchdown. St. Sebastian's was playing without injured fullback and linebacker Blake Gallagher. And they kept the ball in the hands of its quarterback, Tommy Seidel. Watch here as Seidel six off a few tacklers at the line of scrimmage. Bounces outside to end up with a big game for the Arrows. Next play, Sebs with the bunch formation. As Seidel throws it to wideout Jack Frizzoli in the left flat. Frizzoli would take care of the rest, spinning off of a would-be tackle and getting to the rack for a 34-yard touchdown. With the arrows keying heavily on Dillon, Lawrence Academy did an excellent job of mixing things up offensively to keep the Sebs defense on its toes. The Spartans got a big gain on a jet sweep from wideout to Mitri Jackson, and then a throw from Cassidy to tight end Jacob Bixco that helped set things up once again for Dillon, who went through from the five like a hot knife through butter for the score. Midway through the second quarter now, after the Spartans' D held on fourth down. Cassidy hits wide out Sharon Daly-Harris on a slant off the line. And Daly-Harris goes rack, rack city. It's 63 yards in all for the touchdown. And that would push the Lawrence Academy lead to 21-7. to A lot of people sometimes think that we're only a run team. But our, we have a re great receiving core. Jake Cassidy is fantastic. Uh, I think... I think we definitely show that we can do more than one thing. St. Sebastian's came right back with a nice drive of its own, marching 70 yards downfield in 15 plays. The final 14 of those yards coming right here. The side of rifles one to wide out Michael Calabro, who pushes his way through for the last couple of yards for the score. And that cut the Lawrence Academy lead to 21-14, a score that would hold right to halftime. Most of the Division I interest that Dylan gets comes as his running back, but the six foot, 230 pound junior came up with a big play on defense, sacking Seidel here and forcing the ball loose for a fumble that was recovered by teammate Doug Rodeo. That put the Spartans back on the move once again. Here comes Dimitri Jackson on the jet sweep. That's good for 26 yards down to the Arrows three. No secret what was coming next. You guessed it. A.J. Dillon scooting in for his third touchdown of the game. Seb set off on another march, but disaster struck. As Bisco sniffs out the screen pass, picks it off at the line, and gets a great return all the way down to the Arrows 20. Big game for the Spartans linebacker. He had a couple of sacks in this one as well. A few plays later, it's Cassidy with a bullet to Daly Harris. Makes a nice grab for what was a 16-yard touchdown. After the L.A. defense forced another three and out, check out this electric punt return by Jackson as he picks up a bouncing ball at his own 25. Little Texas two-step on the sideline to stay in bounds, and then off he goes. Jackson down the left sideline, racing hard, one last man to beat, which he does, and it's rack time. Jackson completes a 75-yard punt return. Not all, but put this one out of reach at 40-14. to 14. Dylan came up with the longest play of the night in the fourth quarter as he broke off an 87-yard touchdown run. That would be the capper on a 184-yard, four-touchdown day for the star junior. And the Spartans finished off a 47-30 route of St. Sebastian's. Tough loss uh, you know, that week, but you lose and you move on and you just try to keep getting better. And that's what, how it goes around here every year. Yeah. And you try to play your best football later and just keep building off of what you did. And... Um, you know, hopefully we can build off of this win and keep it keep it going. You know, we came back in the second half of Milton Academy. It was a good half of football, and this was a total good game. So I'm proud of him.